Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, again, I'm gonna give you another very useful plugin and it's called DLC Tools. And as the name suggests, this plugin would be a very ambitious one and this video will be just the very initial stage for this entire plugin. But before the start of today's video, please remember to subscribe to this channel and like this video, drop a comment to show support. I really love reading all your comments. So back to the topic. This plugin requires installation. The link to download this plugin is going to be in the description box as usual and just download it from the Google Drive. So what you're gonna install is just to copy this folder and go to Go, Home, Movies, Motion Template and this time it's Titles. So you just paste it under the Titles folder and if you want you can double click and check there are three subfolders and after that can restart the Final Cut Pro, go to the titles and generator sidebar and all of them will be appearing over here and this is just the first three very useful motion templates or if you want to call them plugins. So let's start with the basics. So this is just a magnify and you can as you can see from the video it comes with different shapes and sizes. So what you're gonna do with the very easy magnify is go to the magnify and just drag this onto your timeline like this, pretty simple. And automatically you can see there's a box appearing in the middle and, and this box didn't really magnify anything yet. So for the next step, you're gonna go to the titles inspector and increase the scale whichever percent you want it to be. And if you want it to stay at this position, and as you can tell, the eye is out of position. So what you're gonna do, you can change the content inside for this option. Content inside and X axis. Maybe if you want to bring it down a little bit, you just bring out, bring down the Y axis like this. And obviously you can increase the width of the line to make it even more obvious or decrease it to minimal. And if you don't like it at all, you can change it to zero. And this is just a just a box that is popped out. And for simplicity, I'm gonna stick with the value as one. You can bring down the opacity as well, so this saves you the trouble to you know find the perfect balance of the, the shape and the line and the you know visibility of the line as well so you can change the color of the line as well but i'm not gonna change it today because i think white is pretty good enough but you can change the curvature you know from a rectangular one to an oversized one and if you want to make it a circular one you must make sure that box x and box y is at the same value 300 and there you go a circular one and you can change the position again and change the scale again and you know change the content inside position again and that's pretty much very easy and it's going to be very useful for your everyday editing but as you notice that this movement of the guy makes the, the focus out of shape and out of position you can always create keyframes and you know change the position of the content and every keyframe you can adjust it a little and yeah there's going to be a movement as well and that's how I achieve the selective zoom yeah. so this is the selective zoom with two keyframes one on the scale and one on the content X and Y actually and that's all I need to do to achieve the selective zoom effect if you are paying attention on the scale and content position you know, keyframes and how do you achieve the fade it's pretty simple as well the background opacity you can adjust it to zero so it completely you know darkened and if not you can just bring it up to 100% as you can tell this is really out of position because with the selective zoom it's going to have some trouble to match the circle and the background and it's going to take a lot of work so I'm not going to do it now so I'm just gonna bring down the opacity to 0% and it's going to have a very cool fade and selective zoom effect 
and moving on i'm gonna show you one of the tool which is the background zoom in or zoom out or zoom in and out pretty much it's about the same so so what you're gonna do is to drag this background zoom and bring it to the timeline layer it over and for example if you have some titles over here and you think that the background is you know blurring it out you can bring it up further like this so to make it clearer like just now you know this magnify is being darkened so i'm gonna bring it up like this so now it looks much clearer coming back to the background zoom in and out as you can see there's an end value and stop value so the end value is about 30 percent you can obviously change it up and once you hit play the zoom is going to be like this and alternatively you can have a stop value that is going to be higher than the end value and this and this is going to create with a, such a small and very cinematic zoom out effect and obviously if you want zoom in to you know a focal point for example the face and you realize that it's not going to happen like this so what you're gonna do is going to the you know to the beginning and create a keyframe on the anchor point and at the end maybe just bring down the y value like this and once you hit play you know this creates a very very smooth cinematic zoom effect and last but not least let's move on to the background zoom and focus so this one is pretty easy as well, but it could be a little bit complicated. So let's start with dragging the zoom and magnify titles to the timeline like this and lengthen it if you want. And you can change the position like just now to move the box. You can just click on this titles and change the box position to be like this. And as you can see that the background is zooming in as well. so the content inside and if you want to have an even bigger zoom on the content inside you have to out zoom on the content outside so the, the value is 28 to 30 percent but you might want to change the scale is the 300 to say 465 percent and change the content position like this yep that's all you need to do and just hit play and maybe you know uh, create keyframes as well as usual you know just to make sure that uh, the, the, the the content insights are aligned with the content outside and last but not least you can also change the background x and y like this and so yeah you can also create keyframes and it's going to be easier for you to align the content inside and outside and you can obviously bring down the curve bring up the curvature like this and make it a circular one and change the position as well and that's all you need to do pretty simple right and so far that's all I've got for you guys on the tools kit that is going to be free please download and use them and tell me if there's anything you want to see to be improved and yep that's all I want to show you today. Hope you guys have a nice day and remember to subscribe to this channel and like this video. See you next time. Bye bye.